Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, Cadence, Lucy, Orion, and anyone else who's listening. Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is The Berenstein Bears Get in a Fight, written and illustrated by Stan and Jan Berenstein. It says right inside the front cover, The Berenstein Bears Get in a Fight. When two small bears don't get along, the grown-ups worry what went wrong. The Berenstein Bears Get in a Fight by Stan and Jan Berenstein. And look at brother and sister bear, both so upset with each other. They are both really mad. I know all of you have siblings, so or most of you have siblings. Have you gotten in fights with your siblings? This is published by Random House of New York. So, the story begins. Most mornings in bear country, the sun rose to greet the day, and the mockingbird sang its copycat songs outside an upstairs window of the bear's treehouse. Ah, look at the bird, mockingbird singing to the bears. And inside the treehouse, Brother Bear and Sister Bear would wake up. Brother and Sister usually got along very well. They took turns nicely with the bathroom. They said please and thank you at breakfast. They often sat together on the school bus. And after school, they worked together happily on their special project their own backyard treehouse. Ooh, boy, look. They are just getting along so great. And look at that treehouse in the backyard. That's fabulous, isn't it? But one gray morning, brother and sister didn't get along well at all. Maybe it was the weather, or maybe it was because the mockingbird slept late, but whatever it was, brother and sister bear got into a big fight. Sister bear opened her eyes and stretched. Then she sat up and let her legs dangle over the edge of her bed, right in brother bear's face. She didn't do it to be rude. It was just one of those things that happens with bunk beds. But that morning, brother was not in a very good mood. Sister, he shouted, get your dopey feet out of my face. My feet aren't dopey and they're not in your face, she shouted back. Get your dopey face out of my face, snarled brother. You shut up, snapped sister. And before brother could answer, she skipped into the bathroom ahead of him. Hoo, this is not starting off good this day, is it? She took a very long time brushing her teeth, washing up, and brushing her fur. You'd better come out of that bathroom, shouted Brother, banging on the door. Brother Bear, said Papa, coming out of his bedroom, you know better than to shout at your sister. But she's taking too long in the bathroom, complained Brother, and she's doing it on purpose. Hmm, you think she is doing it on purpose? When brother raised his fist to bang on the door again, it opened and out came sister, all spruced up. Good morning, Papa, she said as nice as you please. Grrr, said brother. Brother and sister didn't say please and thank you that morning at breakfast because they weren't speaking to each other. And they didn't sit together on the school bus. Sister sat in the front and brother sat way in the back. Ooh, well, look how far apart they are. 
They are really mad at each other. That afternoon, they made a line down the middle of their backyard treehouse to show which half was whose. It wasn't much fun sitting up there in their treehouse not speaking. That doesn't look fun, does it? Especially when it began to rain hard. Oh goodness, look how they're having to run back into the house. Later, they kept on being mean by taking back the things they usually shared. Sister took back her modeling clay, which brother had made into dinosaurs, and rolled it into one big lump. Ooh. Brother took back his trucks and planes and put them on the top shelf where sister couldn't reach them. Ah. They got so angry that they forgot they weren't speaking and began shouting at each other even louder than before. Then Papa lost his temper and began shouting at them to stop shouting. Oh, Mama does not look happy, does she? The neighbors didn't know which was worse the big storm or the racket coming from the bear's house. Oh my goodness, look, the turtle, the frog, the squirrels, the mockingbirds, they're all watching and thinking, what in the world is going on? But there's like lightning and thunder. So which is louder, do you think? The arguing or the storm? Mama had quite enough. She put two fingers to her mouth and whistled very, very loudly. Papa and the cubs were so surprised that they stopped shouting. I didn't know you could whistle like that, Mama, said Sister. I can't whistle like that, can you? That's pretty cool. Well, I can, and I can also tell you, said Mama sternly, that I've had quite enough of this foolish fighting. Why, I doubt you two even remember what you're fighting about. The cubs tried to remember, but they couldn't. Mama took the cubs into her lap. Everybody gets into an argument once in a while, she said even folks who love each other very much. You and I don't have arguments, said Papa. Oh, yes, we do, said Mama. No, we don't, argued Papa. We're having one right now, said Mama, about whether or not we have arguments. (laughs) While Papa thought that one over, Mama went on to say that occasional arguments are part of living together. Look at Papa thinking about what she said. We get angry, even call each other names and say things we really don't mean. And after a while, it's over. Like the storm, asked sister. The rain had almost stopped and the sun was beginning to shine through the clouds. Yes, said Mama, like the storm. Look, said Papa, the sun shining on the last of the rain had made a rainbow. Oh, look how beautiful that rainbow is. Don't you love rainbows? A rainbow is something very beautiful that happens after a storm, said Mama, looking at the cubs. You mean like making up after a big fight? Sort of, said Mama. So, brother and sister bear hugged and made up and got along just beautifully until the next time anyway. So just remember, if you get in fights with your brother or your sister, you can always make up and make things better because it's always nice to have a good playmate 
to play with, especially right now, isn't it? I hope you like that story. You keep on taking good care of yourselves. Keep loving on each other. Always love yourselves. And remember to make up if you get in a fight with a friend or a sibling or your mom or your dad. And never forget that I love each one of you to the moon and back. We'll be back together next time for another story time. Bye-bye.